One thing to know about me is I am a huge fan of technology. I could talk to you guys for hours about the different types of gadgets that are coming out. For example, I could talk about how the Samsung International Exynos processor is just as powerful on the multi-thread side as the Apple A11 Bionic chip, and I guarantee 99% of you didn't understand a single word I just said. But, ah. There's something I feel like is a little bit underused in things that we use every day here at school. Laptops. Now, over the past few years, one thing I love doing is finding out what, pe what type of laptops people have. Is it, a, is it a Windows, is it a Mac, is it a giant 17 inch, or is it a tiny 11 inch? And one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people at the school use the MacBook Air, which is a nice laptop. It's, it's got a thin design, getting thinner and thinner from the top to bottom. And one thing you notice in this picture is the ports on the side. You have a headphone jack, USB, another HDMI or display port, USB, and another S and a micro SD card slot. Everything you need. But on the newest generation of MacBooks, the MacBook and the MacBook Pro, these are really powerful and thin laptops. But that thinness comes at a price. That is called USB-C. Now, a new port is nothing special, but that's the only type of port you get on the laptop. Now, I know a lot of people at the school do have this laptop and are perfectly fine with it. But a lot of people, my, a lot of people including myself, were really confused when I first saw it. I was like, what? Why? Why would they do that? We have all the ports we need here. Now we basically have to pay $2,500 for nothing but a headphone jack and a USB-C port. It just made me so angry. But I digress. When you think about it a little bit more, it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of ports. See, with this one, with this one port, you can plug in an, a, a, a USB-C cable to an external 5K monitor to get a much nicer image. You could even plug in an external graphics card to get more horsepower to your laptop, so you can definitely be able to play Fortnite then. But most importantly, it charges your laptop. That's pretty, what, what we, pretty much what we need it for. But say you want to load a USB drive or an SD card. It doesn't really fit in there. So that's where the world of adapters come in. With this, you could change a simple USB into a USB-C. It's perfect for loading a USB drive or plugging in a mouse. Now, now, on the newest generation of MacBooks, not the MacBook Pro, you only have one USB-C port and a headphone jack. It's not a lot. So that's where adapters like these come in. With this, you could change one or two USB-C ports into a plethora of ports. This includes HDMI, micro SD and SD card slots, and USB ports. But the great thing is that Ah. You still get to use those USB-C ports. That gives you more flexibility if you want to add even more adapters. And USB-C is quite popular on computers, but it doesn't even stop there. Phones are starting to use USB-C. Companies like Samsung and Razer and OnePlus all use USB-C to charge their phones. But with OnePlus, it's kind of special, as with their USB-C cable, they're able to charge the phones by 50% in 30 minutes. That's pretty fast. But it doesn't even stop at phones. Game consoles like the Nintendo Switch also use USB-C. So technically speaking, you can use the same cable to charge your game console, your phone, and your laptop. That's pretty awesome. Now yes, USB-C has just started becoming more and more popular on phones and laptops, but who knows? Maybe even Apple themselves will start using it on, your, on their phones. So what I, want to take, what I want you to take out of this is, I want you all to look at your laptops after this. And if you find this port, use it. There is so much you can do with this port. Every laptop you would normally have on, say, a MacBook Air, you can do all with just one USB-C port. So when you think about it, it kind of does make sense to just have one USB-C port on a MacBook. You just have to think about how truly powerful USB-C is. And that's hopefully what I explained to you today. Thank you.